Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be talking about the NASCAR Richmond Raceway uh, Weekend uh, only for the Cups and the Truck Series. Before we get into that, let's talk about next week's schedule which is Watkins Glen. Now Watkins, now Watkins Glen is going to be very exciting mainly for the Cup Series because we actually get to see Kimi Raikkonen for the first time. He'll be driving me for Trackhouse. Uh, Mike Rockefeller, uh, he's going to be driving for Spire Motorsports in, in the 77 car. Raikkonen will be in the 91 car. Uh, Loris Hesmans, he might be in it, I'm not too sure. Ken Kofia is, go is probably going to be in it. And maybe Torso Marquez, uh, he's gonna be, he might be racing for Team Stains Racing. That might not actually happen, but we haven't gotten a lot of information about that other than the announcement. But we just have to wait to see that. So, always, uh, so uh, let's, let's just have a look at the weekend. Friday is all the it is all Arkhamar series. So practice also three at uh, three fifteen p.m. and qualified ourselves four twenty five p.m. Both of them will not be on TV. However, the race uh, will be on six p.m. Eastern time. That'll be for the rainy of the general tire deliveries one hundred. That'll be on FS one and MRM. Saturday, August twentieth. First, we have Xfinity Series practice and qualified. Both will be on stream on P on Peacock. Ten or five a.m. for practice and ten and ten thirty five a.m. for qualifying. Uh, practice and qualifying will be on USA, Peacock, and MRN for the Cup Series. However, uh, so, practice will, so practice will start at 12.05 p.m. Eastern Time. However, um, USA, or on USA, that will start at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. They will qualify and start at 1.05 p.m. Eastern Time. And then finally, in the Xfinity Series, I don't, I mean, I don't know what the, what the sponsor is for the race, but it just says race. Uh, so that's uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and that's and that'll be on USA Peacock, MRN, and Sirius XM. And then finally, the, on Sunday, August 21st, will be the Cup Series at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. That'll be run, that'll be for the running in of the Go Bowling at the Glen. That'll be on USA Peacock, MRN, and Sirius XM. So let's have a look at this very boring Richmond weekend uh, for both trucks and the Cup Series. So we'll first have a look. At the truck series and that was won by Chandler Smith another one of, of our playoff drivers second place John has an check then Ty Majeski, Grant Finger, Corey Heim who's not in the playoffs Taylor Gray who's also not in the playoffs Matt Crafton, Christian Ecke, Zane Smith and Carson Hosmer ran right out the top 10 then we got Stuart Friesen, Derek Krause, Tyler Ancrum, Chase Purdy, Brent Holmes, Tyler Gray, Matt Benedetto, Ben Rose, Lane Riggs, and Jay Garcia ran right out the top 20. Um, couple drivers actually failed to qualify, that being 6. Tyler Hill, Brennan Poole, Justin Corral, Justin Corral, Justin Corral, yeah, whatever. Uh, so, Carroll, Justin Carroll, there we go. Trey Hutchins, the third. Mason Mango, who started either way because he replaced Josh Rio in, in his car. And Norm Benning. To the mirror was only Mason Maggio. Who went to the rear because uh, he swapped drivers with Josh Ream who um, who qualified in, in the 33 truck. So as I mean, not a lot of happened. I mean, legit, nothing really happened. Lap 17 time, Majeski won stage one. Uh, good point save for him. Obviously, he, he gets that one playoff point. Chandler Smith also won stage two. And also again, that win, he now has six playoff points. And the only big thing that really happened was on lap 215, Nick Lyons, I think that's how you say his name. I can't remember who he was driving for. Uh, but either way, he got spun out by Carson Rose for a show a video of him. It looked pretty, uh, I, it, it didn't really look intentional. Um, I think he did it right in front of the leader. I, th I, I think Carson Rose actually really was the leader when that happened. I'm gonna correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but Carson Rose, he, oh, he, he has not had a good string of playoff races, I must say. Both times wrecking someone out. I don't know what is going on with Hosevar. I'm going to get the pressure is now onto him and he has to do something big to, uh, you know, be in the championship. But as of right now, if you keep doing that, and obviously as a fan as well, if you keep doing that, you are not championship ca caliber. And there's also rumors about he might be going to junior motorsports next year because no Greg since as I moved up to the, to the Cup Series with Pay GMS. That's probably might happen. That might also not happen because of how because of because of Hosvar's performance. They might go to Drew Dollar of all freaking drivers because apparently he's rumored to be also going to Junior Motorsports for some stupid reason. I don't even know why you would, but either way, um, but pretty stupid move I must say from Hosvar. 
um, especially as a playoff driver who is competing for the championship, you should not be doing those things. Uh, anyways, lap 250, Chandler Smith wins the Worldwide Express 250, locking himself into the next round, which is the round of eight. Let's have a look at the other finishers outside of the top 20. Yeah, so there's, yeah, so there's Nick Letts, uh, who, who, who was the only driver to actually be out of this race, which is interesting. Uh, not a lot of stuff. Chad Chastain, uh, I think he might be, I, I, I don't know if he, I, I don't know if he's gonna be in that truck full time, but we know that Chris Wright, uh, both Chris Wright and these have parted ways. Uh, so that is definitely, so, I don't know who they're gonna sign, probably Chad Chastain, um, Chris Wright is now has then moved over to the Xfinity series to be to race with Brandon Bell Motorsports, who's gonna be starting in his um his race with them at Watkins Glen. See so yeah, how that goes. But yeah, nothing yeah, nothing really happened, I must say, during this race. And uh people have been also been saying to get rid of Richmond. Well what was what a second Richmond race, which I completely understand, and I think they should really do that. Uh, let's now move over to the Cup Series, and just like the Truck Series, a lot of stuff really happened, but another shocker. Where the hell did he come from? Where did Kevin Harvick come from to get two wins in a row somehow? Earlier in the season, we thought he was just, he, he was out of the playoffs. And now, he has gotten, he, he now has two career wins, like two career wins, two wins in a row, which is shocking to me. Um, but, uh, so he, so Kevin Harvick, Wins, uh, wins the Richmond race in the Cup Series. Behind him, Christopher Bell, Chris Buescher, Denny Hamlin, Chase Elliott, Joe Logano, Martha Truex Jr., Eric Armrola, Kyle Busch, and Ryan Blaney ran out of the top 10. Then William Byron, Austin Sindrick, Bubba Wallace, Kyle Larson, Brad Kozlowski, Austin Dillon, Ty Dillon, Ross Chastain, Dino Suarez, and Alex Bowman ran out of the top 20. Uh, no one failed to qualify. Uh, two drivers went to the rear due to unapproved adjustments, that being uh, Harrison Burton, and BJ McLeod. Um, stuff that really happened not a lot. I mean, lap 4, Tyler Reddick is spun out by Ty Dillon. Lap 17, Ross Chastain wins stage 1. It's a bit of a funny thing, which I'm not going to show uh, because I say for something else. Lap 155, Ricky Sounds Jr. attempts, he went attempts to pit but misses and hits Martin Trex Jr., who's obviously one of the drivers who, who's, who's trying to get into the playoffs, surprisingly. Uh, lap 230, Joe Logano wins stage 2. Lap 240, I'm going to put this in actually. Uh, Kyle Busch and Ross Chastain, they make contact and, do, and they both spin out. Eric Jones and Martin Trex Jr. get some damage. Um, don't know where to put the blame on this. Probably maybe have to say Chastain. He did move up the racetrack a bit. Uh, so it's probably Chastain's fault. Um, this is also not the first time that Kyle Busch has been mad at Chastain. Remember Phoenix last year? Remember also Atlanta last year? Uh, Phoenix where I think... Um, Chastain just took out Kyle Busch, I mean, in a front stretch, not like literally, but basically took him out of contention. Um, and then at Atlanta, he was helping out his, um, his teammate Kurt Busch for the win. And that race blocked Kyle Busch's lane so he can't get past him. Kurt Busch passed him for the win. So, yeah, I mean, not the first time that Kyle Busch has been pissed off at Chastain. Uh, lap 251, Christopher Bell spins out. And lap 400, Kevin Harvick wins the Federated, uh, the Federated Auto Parts 400, second win in a row. I don't know where the hell he got the speed from, but he somehow got it, which is impressive, I must say. Um, and then let's have a look at the other finishes outside of the top 20. Not a lot, really. Ross Chassis in 22nd. Ty Gibbs had, had an engine issue. Eric Jones was part of that accident, I think, um, with, jo with um, Bush, Chassis, and Truex. Um, yeah, that's all I really had to say, and, Re and Reddick had a horrible day, but that's all, that's all I really had to say about Richmond. I do agree, get rich, just add, just add like Chicago land back in, don't have Richmond, ha like, don't let Richmond have, a, have another race, it's, that is pointless, I must say. Let's have a look now at the standings for the first time for the truck series. Chandler Smith and Grand Figure, they have both. Pleasure tickets on into um, the next round. Then we got Zane Smith, John Hunter Neiman, Chad Time, and Jeske, Stuart Friesen, Ben Rhodes, and Matt Crafts ran out to top eight. And then below them, Carson Osvar minus three below the cut line, and Christian Eckes minus six below the cut line. Then we, then we got Derek Krause, Tyler Anchor, Matt Benedetto, Tanner Gray, Chase Purdy, Corey Heim, Colby Howard, Timmy Hill, Ryan Priest, and Parker Kluggerman ran out to top 20. For the Cup Series, Chase Elliott, uh, still in the lead under playoffs. Um, then we got Ross Chastain, Joe Logano, Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney, 
uh, William Byron, Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, Christopher Bell, Kyle Busch, Chase Brisker, Kurt Busch, Daniel Suarez, also Cedric, also, also Cedric and Max Bowman. Those six drivers are currently in the playoffs. Martin Truex Jr., 26 below the cut line. So he's basically 26 behind Ryan Blaney. Um, the next race is of, is of Zan Walker's Glen, and Truex has won there, I think, if I remember correctly. Blaney has not. So this could be Truex's time to shine. We just have to wait and see, though. Now, we're literally behind Truex. We've got Amarola, Jones, Wallace, and Austin Dillon. So... Some very interesting things are going on there. Kurt Busch, he has been given a waiver, so that's why you see him in the playoffs, just like I mentioned last time. Uh, so that's really about it. Obviously, the next one will be at Watkins Glen, which will be very, very exciting uh, for us spectators. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye.